Dawn unfolds over the Sulu Sea in southern Philippines, signaling a new day in Zamboanga del Norte. Lying on the northern half of the Zamboanga Peninsula, Zanorte, as it is called by the locals, was ordained a separate province in 1952. Zanorte remains a peaceful paradise and an example of unity amongst its diverse peoples. Like much of the Philippines, Zanorte's ethnic makeup has been influenced by the ebb and flow of settlers that have come to its lands. The earliest inhabitants, the Subanans, or river people, quietly migrated to the highlands with the incoming of settlers from the Visayas region, and eventually colonizers from Spain. Uh, our culture dates back to a thousand years because of the uh, Subanan tribe which uh, originated here in our province. And uh, right now we still have uh, lots of them. In fact, uh, some of our ancestors are really Subanan blood. We call them Subanan because they are uh, river dwellers. Suba is river. Today, Zanorte is composed of three major ethnic groups of Muslims, Christians, and the Subanans, all living in harmony. A symbol of this unity stands in the center of Dipolo, in a monument depicting peace and progress for the diverse peoples of the city. Referred to by the locals as the Tri People, the statue represents the three strong groups raising a large bowl, engraved with fruits and flowers, symbolizing the flourishing bounty of Dipolo. Cascading waters demonstrate the overflow of blessings that pours forth for all to prosper. Comprised of 25 municipalities and the cities of Dapitan, the Shrine City, and Dipolog, the Sardines capital, Zanorte stands out as a cultural and historical destination. And with over 34,000 hectares of untouched virgin rainforest in the province, the lush lands of Zanorte offer even more to be explored. Just beyond the city limits, the horizons fade from skylines to forests. The roadside view becomes a rich green with skyscraping trees lining each side of the highway. In a little over an hour's drive away lies the quiet municipality of Tampilisan, where the tranquil Situbo Falls can be found. The towering falls inspire a Zen experience while meditating on the calming sound of the gently flowing waters as they cascade into the glassy pools below. Hidden by the forests of the municipality of Katipunan are the mysterious Sanao Caves. Shrouded by fog, the opening of this vertical cave leads 150 feet deep into the earth. Although the cave has not yet been fully explored, and it is unknown as to how deep the cave actually reaches. Even more peculiar is the sound of a rushing river that can be heard in the cave wall. Yet, there is no evidence of any body of water found nearby nor within the cave. Swift-lit birds encircle the cave's opening by day, and by night, cavers can witness a circadian flight of bats. With the aid of the local guides, avid spelunkers can enjoy scaling the three chambers of slippery stone into the heart of Sanaa. The town of Mutya offers a refreshing change in pace in the cozy, countryside feel of the Highlander Farm Resort. Sprawling throughout 100 hectares of lush mountainside, the Highlander Farm Resort features home-style accommodations and a pool pumped with water from the nearby Lake Duminagat of Mount Malindang. Flower farms fill the grounds and an animal sanctuary houses some of the rarest and endangered species endemic to the Philippines, such as the bleeding heart pigeon and the Philippine deer. Mm. 
Also on the premises is a three-story treehouse with a 360-degree view of a sleeping blue-gray mountain range and the surrounding forest of rubber trees. Tranquil, lush, and serene, the Highlander Farm Resort lets you in on the simple, natural beauty of Zanorte. Making the most of its naturally green terrain, the town of Polanco has transformed its lush rolling hills into an 18-hole paradise for golf fanatics. With more than half of its town spilling out to the Sulu Sea, Zanorte has plenty of warm, welcoming shores certain to entice beach lovers and island hoppers. One island getaway is the fishing town of Sibutan. At the Sibutan Pier, pump boats can shuttle you off to the nearby Pinyahon Island. The island reveals itself like a mirage on the horizon. Along the way, large and ornately designed basnig, or fishing boats, appear like giant water spiders from another world. Their long bamboo beams bending to the weight of nets, waiting to be filled with the day's catch. Sibutad waters are thriving with marine life, and it is believed that it got its name from the local word Sibu, which was a fishing tool used in ancestral times. It might have been since the early days that seafood was the staple in these lands. Arriving on the quiet shores of Pinyahon feels like landing on your own private island resort. Colorful flags lining the island welcome you as if they had been anticipating your arrival. At the in-house restaurant, expect to find only the freshest seafood dishes on the menu, including the local specialty, spider conch shell, locally known as sa'a. Named so for obvious reasons, this shellfish delicacy is simply boiled in salt water and eaten straight from the shell. The warm, sparkling waters of Zanorte cradle some of the best beaches in the region. The famous Dakok Park and Beach Resort in Dapitan, with its white sands and clear waters, is an internationally acclaimed beach destination. Here, visitors can expect to get pampered and enjoy the first-rate facilities that the resort offers. or one can also opt to hop to the nearby island of Aliguay. A few minutes away from the Dapitan Bay, clear waters reveal the reefs below, coloring the sea in shades of aquamarine as a speedboat skims the waves to Aliguay. White sands kissed by azure waters beckon as the boat nears its shores lined by rows of homely Mipa huts. Apart from a few friendly locals, the island is practically secluded. Life is slow and simple as the locals carry on their everyday tasks to the infectious rhythm of the laid-back island vibe. The ideal place to unwind with a dip in the spell-binding waters to wash away all the cares of the world. The clear and calm waters also create the ideal conditions for dolphin watching, scuba diving, and a variety of water sports. One of the latest attractions in Zanorte is the river cruise along the thousand-year-old Dapitan River. A one-and-a-half-hour ride down the lazy river begins in Burgos and ends at the Pulo Dampa, or Dapitan Aquamarine Park. This is considered as one of the biggest assets of the Pitan, uh, the, uh, the Pitan River. We will have some entertainment along the bank, or we'll have some uh, uh, farm markets that will uh, showcase uh, fruits and uh, vegetables. It will end up in Dampa. The Dampa of the Pitan is the Pitan Marine Park. We have now a restaurant that just opened. The cruise features large, flatbed boats designed like native barrio-style houses, which are festively decorated and decked out with a delicious spread of freshly cooked Filipino dishes. Soothing sounds of kundima music played by a live band dance through the air as guests dine on the floating riverboat house. 
Ancient virgin forests crowd along the wide, winding river, where children playfully swim in the waters. Though the view is breathtaking, you will quickly realize you've also attracted an audience of your own, as curious youngsters look on from the sidelines as the festive river cruise boat floats on by. Indeed, the province of Zanorte enjoys an abundance of natural resources. It leaves no question that its people have much to celebrate. So much so, they have dedicated more than a week long of festivities for the annual Hudyaka Zanorte Festival, held during the first week of June. Derived from the local Visayan dialect, Hudyaka simply means merrymaking, which is precisely what the festival is all about. Hosted in Dapitan City, participants from all 25 municipalities gather together for the merrymaking activities. On the eve of Hudyaka, the festival grounds are a flurry, as last-minute preparations are being made for the next 10 days of festivities. The warm night air is full of anticipation for the upcoming celebrations, as participants rush to complete their fanciful obra maestras of gigantic carabaos, durians, and even chickens. These larger-than-life, over-the-top creations clearly show that this celebration is definitely a big deal. The Hujaka Zanorte Festival brings out every hue of its colorful and diverse lands as it opens with a flamboyant float parade. This year's festival puts a spotlight on the abundance of agriculture that embodies the wealth of Zanorte. Clustered along the banks of the Dapitan River, each municipality has put up their own displays, filled to the brim with the freshest and largest crops straight from the farms. Baskets full of siniguelas, durian, marang, mangoes, and all kinds of vegetables overflow. Proud Zenortehanons are united by song and dance throughout the celebration, while laughter and joy permeate the festival grounds with all kinds of activities and entertainment to amuse the young ones and elders. In the days ahead, there's something for everyone to look forward to, with sports and games, bike and boat races, pageants, and of course, partying. Zanorte certainly lights up during the Hudyaka festival. But even when the celebrations are over, it still radiates with a natural charm and beauty. With the beachside boulevards set against the constant backdrop of vast skies, the afternoon sun paints a masterpiece of colors to end the day and welcome the night. Twilight ushers in leisurely strolls with friends and family picnics. Youngsters enjoy a playful game of beach volleyball or simply frolic in the warm, gentle waters. Others steal a moment of solitude with the setting sun. The Sunset Boulevard along Dapitan Bay is famous for its breathtaking, sanguine skies stretched over the Sulu Sea. The same skies that inspired poetry and genius during the most prolific years of Philippine national hero, Jose Rizal. Uh, History-wise, we're also very rich because this is where uh, the national hero spent four years of his adult life. Along the Dapitan Bay stands Rizal's figure, glimmering golden bronze, commemorating the exact place where Rizal landed when he was sent to Dapitan for exile in the 1800s. Granted the status of Priso Caballero, meaning he was free to roam as long as he reported to the governor, Rizal decided to settle on a piece of land fronting the Dapitan Bay. Today, that plot of land is called the Rizal Shrine and was rebuilt and preserved to stand as a historical and educational landmark of the hero. The asset that we have that's number one here that will not be built and be bought by money is the fact that our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal, stayed here and spent his productive years of his life. 
We're trying to bring the life and love of Dr. Rosalita uh, back to the Filipinos. His house and his clinic and Mary Theodore Rock, uh, where he wrote the poem uh, for uh, Josephine Bracken. Uh, we really would like to ask everyone to show their patriotism and uh, bring back uh, the memories of our national hero. A museum traces the history of the life and works of this revered hero, while reconstructed structures of his home, clinic, kitchen, and personal belongings were recreated to give visitors a glimpse of his daily life. The legendary Lover's Rock also remains where it stood during Rizal's time, where he often sat to gaze at the famous sunsets of Dapitan. While the pace of the day slows down and the skies dim, it certainly doesn't mean it's time for Zanorte to go to sleep. By nightfall, spotlights pierce the sky as glorious fantasy land in Dapitan opens its neon-lighted gates. The newest theme park in the Philippines and the largest outside of Metro Manila, Gloria's Fantasyland brings world-class amusement to the shores of Zanorte. Thrill rides, kitty rides, stage performances, parlor games, and mascots complete this theme park experience. But the park's best attraction yet is the Horror House. Designed by the creators of a popular horror flick series, a walk through this house of haunts is sure to shock even the most skeptical. Even away from the flash and flare, an ordinary evening comes to life as street vendors light up with barbecue grills and the famous native grilled chicken. Locals often enjoy their favorite fare along the dimly lit boulevards, basking in the moonlight and night breeze by the bay. From dawn to dusk, Zanorte is beautiful, with landscapes that dance with the ever-shifting skies, dreamlike shores of idyllic islands wrapped by wandering waterways and rivers, whispering waterfalls, silent mountain ranges, and mystifying caves. Snapshots of history standing discreetly on street corners and the unfading smile of a child. This is the new face of Zanorte.